So, I broke my game. Hey guys, welcome to another devlog for my game Crystal Void. Let's have a look at a few things that I implemented over the last few weeks. So first things, my own tower was firing at me for some reason and I quickly had to sort that out. And as you can see, the firing effect from the barrel is the same as the explosion and I needed to fix that ASAP. So I started with a smoking effect from the particle system and it was spawning from the center of the world and looking like a hot giant pile of crystals. So I eventually got that to the right place. It's still not parented correctly, but I'm not too worried about it as yet because this is only a temporary model. Um, it's kind of looking more like a steam engine puffing at smoke at this stage. And that gives me an idea for something that I might implement in future in terms of kind of a tower element. So I had the problem where the tower was actually exploding on its own collider when it was going out. So what do I do? I Google these kind of things. Don't be afraid to Google guys. It always helps, everybody does it. I finally got the AI players to spawn their own creeps and my screen recording software went a bit wonky here, but as you can see, these things turned out quite giant. Little, little error, but I fixed that. And here you can see he's spawning his own creeps and they are jumping out one by one. At this stage, it only spawns five of them before he has to activate the fountain again. And I might make that a continuous thing, just with a higher cost perhaps. And then I've been pushing this away for quite some time, but I needed to implement a firing mechanism for the player. Yes, the shooting begins. <laughs> I took my temporary model back into Blender and I added a weapon under its wing. And it was looking okay, it'll do for now. And I started to implement the code that'll handle the firing mechanism. And that got me thinking that I might need to change my entire control strategy. So that's where I broke things. Anyway, I started adding a particle that's going to be the projectile from the gun itself. And it was looking quite great, added a bit of lighting effects. And I will need to pull these because they can get a bit heavy, especially if all the AI players are going to start firing these away as well. I jumped into a very small scene that's got one or two basic cubes in it just to help me run around and start shooting and just get a feel for the controls. Um, and also just for scale as well. Yeah, instantiating the bullet particles was a bit of an interesting thing. I had to dive into Quaternions again, and I figured I cannot spell Quaternion even though I had to retype it quite a few times. But alas, I got it working, and I'm pretty satisfied with what it got to at this stage. I can fire away, it's dealing damage, and there's a lot of fine tuning to be done but I'm busy working on my controller now, getting the controller fixed to where I want it. And that will be it. That's it for this episode, folks. As always, I appreciate your comments and your feedback. And please subscribe if you want to see more of these. Until next time, remember, fail faster. Cheers. <laughs>